Hey guys, welcome to High Lore Gaming. I'm Joseph and with me is my wife Amber. We're excited to finish the last and most interesting trains of our playthrough and find the 11th memory. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a, I think like a three week break, but we are so excited to get back into this and finish up this playthrough. Yeah, we had a whole lot of things that happened after we intended to take a break for the first week of April. Then we finally found the time to get back into the swing of it. So yes. here we go. We're excited. I wanted to do like all of the shrines in this playthrough, but I didn't feel like we really needed to see all of them in action. Just like the more interesting ones and shrines that introduced different styles of puzzles and tricks to be accomplished. So uh, since the last playthrough, I went ahead and knocked out all of the shrines that just weren't all that terribly interesting and left us with my top four interesting shrines left. I in particular am a big fan of the sand seal race. So we're going to do that right up here. Oh, oh. hello. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> sand seal rally. Oh, there they are. And I don't remember this being here until after we defeated the Divine Beast. Yes, I believe that's true. I don't think you can do it until then. So this is really hard. All you gotta do is pick up the orb and carry <laughs> it up here and put it into the pedestal. Do you think it's really so, gonna let's be do it. Uh oh. <sighs> hey, 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 hey. That item is only for those who have proven themselves in the Sand Seal races. Hands off. Yeah, so. Told ya. Finders keepers is not how this works. <laughs> so we do have to actually work for it. We got Shabone, Shabon, and Shabine. Actually, I don't know what her name is. <laughs> but her he head looks like a cake pop. Oh, she does. It's crazy. Tally. Tally. She gives us the ellipses. What do you want? The great Tally doesn't have time to chat with just anyone. You see, now the Divine Beast is gone, we can finally use the race course. Tally is busy focusing her energy for the Sand Seal race. Oh. Actually, do you want to try to beat Tally's record? I'll warn you, they don't call her Dame of the Dunes for nothing. It forces me to ask her the question, okay. as though I don't know what that is. You've never heard of Hyrule's pastime? The world famous Sand Seal racing? I thought everyone knew about it. Isn't that shocking, Tally? You surf with a sand seal and race to the finish line while also going through the arches. That's sand seal racing. If you get off your shield or leave the course bounds, you're disqualified. Tally's record is 1 minute and 30 seconds. If you can beat that record, that trophy is yours. This is the grand trophy that's been passed down by 10,000 years of sand seal racing champions. So it's as old as the original battle with Ganon. Whoa. Tally here is the current champion. Will you try to challenge her record? Of course. I forgot to mention, since you're racing against the champ's record, it'll be 50 rupees per race, okay? We got it. All right. Payday. <laughs> Enough talk. Let's begin. Apparently they don't get many competitors. I guess. I'd love to see Link warming up. Oh, that's awesome. Challenger has appeared to take on the Gerudo Sand Seal race. Apparently one who does not mind risking his life and limb. But will our current record fall? The one set by our undefeated champion? I love that they got sunglasses. <laughs> I know. For no apparent reason, just these two. It makes sense though, if you think about it. The incomparable beast of the desert, the Sand Seal is ready to ride. Also, Tally has an incredible belt buckle. Yeah, it's like a belt shield. Can our new contestant reach the goal in less than a minute and 30 seconds while still passing under every arch? The suspense is killing me. I'm going to start the countdown. <laughs> All right, here, here we go. I go. I've got the control. Yes. Did I go the wrong way? No, uh, I don't think so. I don't think it went the way that I was expected to go. Oh. I wonder if I missed one of the arches. Honestly, I didn't see the path. Hi, but you're fine. I did it. Oh, I missed one of the you arches. did miss it. Whoops. The run Your is run over. Your run is over. Oops. Okay. 
I think that's the first time that I've flunked that race. You'll have to pass through all seven arches on the course, or you'll be disqualified. Ah, <sighs> okay. We're gonna do it again. Okay. Okay, I'll help you watch. I wonder how my sand seal was chosen. Like, is this a sand seal that you only see for this race because its coloration is kind of distinct? Yeah, or it is. Or is it the same as any of the other sand seals that you can rent? So the arches always look like wishbones to me. They do. <laughs> a lot of things so have been coming out about time. Tears of the Kingdom since we were last playing. There's the final trailer, analysis from some of the theorists on YouTube. Very fun to check it out. I've been enjoying all of the discussion about Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, we're getting so excited for that to come out. Now, you've been avoiding a lot of the discussion because you don't want to well, get spoiled. I, I don't, I don't want blame to, you. I don't want to hear the ones that are saying, like, this is what's going to happen. I, I, I like to, like, get teasers, but I also want to enjoy it kind of organically, too. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody really knows what's actually going to happen. Yeah. But there are some people that have more information than others. Yeah. There was I just do have that, some theories of my own. There was just that one that was claiming to play the game and was going to tell all about it. I was like, I don't want to see, like... I did not. <laughs> uh, good job. A new record. Beat her. I don't know what she was doing to go so slow. <laughs> Oh, she actually said Perfect. something. Perfect. I believe this belongs to you. Thank you. This trophy is something special, you know. Yeah, it's as big as your head. <laughs> Our champions have passed down a legend about it for 10,000 years. The legend goes, when the holy jewel is offered onto the pedestal, the chosen one will be granted a new power. But that power has never been granted to anyone, not even me obviously. And yet I sense a power emanating from you, the likes of which I have never felt in anyone else. You should give it a shot. Interesting. Huh. And so, a new champion is born. Yeah, I, you know, defeated Wind Blight, Fire Blight, Water Blight, <laughs> you know, Fire Blight, but now a champion is born. <laughs> and that's all it took. Pick her up. Take it up here, and uh, drop. <laughs> so anticlimactic. Drop. You know, the colors, whenever you have some Sheikah technology that you could do something with, but you haven't done it yet, it's orange. Mm -hmm. And then once you've interacted with it and done what you can, it turns blue. For some reason, my brain, even after all this time, wants to interpret blue as the inactive state and oh, really? orange as... Oh, there was a wolf right, right there. Hey, wolf, come on! You, you're missing this part. Okay, well... It's gone. I, 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 my brain says that the orange means it's been activated. It's been done. Oh, it's powered funny. on. Blue really? is like in sleep mode. Blue is inactive, doing nothing. Oh, it's, that's Funny. It's available to me, and I just haven't done it yet. Interesting. To you who sets foot in the shrine of Raka Zunzal, by entering this place, you have proven you're worthy of stuff. <laughs> stuff. And it's a shield. Oh. Doll? Yeah. What do you expect, a diamond too? Yeah. You know, it's funny. They have these treasure chests, and they can only hold one thing. That's true. They should be able to hold multiple things. That'd you have cool. done well to arrive at this shrine. A hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. I don't remember the other Sheikah saying what he just said first there about there's a guy rising. I wonder if that's a slightly huh. different phrase. Well, I always skip it, so I don't really remember what mm -hmm. it is. Because it is a unique shrine quest yeah maybe it was slightly modified because of the nature of he knows that we just did this race you know yeah ah breathing the fresh air smells like a freshly completed shrine quest <laughs> now what do these people have to say why don't you go home or why don't you race will you race me hey can i have that cool belt did She's still wearing the belt. I think the belt belongs to me now. Yeah, that's the champion's belt. All right, well, 
That's cool. So that was yeah. the first of the four shrine missions that we have in store for this episode. We are going to now hand the controller to Ember and she's going to tackle the hardest of the four. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she's going to go for it in Kakariko Village. Yeah. Let's see. Where's Kakariko Village? Has it moved? No, it's no, still there. Still? Yeah, still where we left it. There you go. <laughs> Man, it seems like forever since I've been here. You know, though, with, with the lighting and the rain like that, it actually looks really refreshing. I can totally picture what it feels like to stand in the rain that looks like this. Yeah. Who so did this? Going to talk I to. can't believe this. Kato. Talk they to look him. like they're upset about something. Kato's crazy for cuckoos. <laughs> Link, we were standing guard the whole time, and yet this awful thing still happened. How mm. could we let someone sneak right past us? Wait, what? Were y'all just standing here in the big daylight and then somebody stole something? Link, it was in here there. Okay. All right, talk to the other guy, Dorian. What happened? Someone snuck it and stole Lady Pia's most prized possession. I'm sure Lady Pia would feel a little more at ease if she saw Master Link's face. Well, I happen to be Master Link, so okay. I can serve my face right up. Ah, Pia's beside herself. Link, I swear I only took my eyes off it for a second. What should I? What should I do? What's wrong? The Sheikah heirloom. The heirloom has been stolen. And just when I finally discovered the heirloom's secret. The heirloom told you its secret? Oh. oh. The hero, as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom, will be gifted the blessing of antiquity. Paya thinks the hero, as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom, is you. So she stayed up all night researching the heirloom. She came to the conclusion that the Blessing of Antiquity refers to one of those ancient shrines, and that the heirloom is the key that opens the shrine. And just before we were able to tell you this, the thing is stolen. That's inconvenient timing. I had been cleaning the heirloom regularly every day, from morning till dusk. Someone must have stolen it during the deepest hour of the night. This place is off limits to outsiders. Okay, Taya, you, you can you can <laughs> calm down. It's it's gonna be okay. Link's face is right here. Look at this face. <laughs> and no one from the village would do such a thing, would they? No, it would have to be someone really evil. Someone with evil intent came into this sacred place. See, Paya and I understand. <laughs> We're starting to get each other. I'm glad Grandmother is safe, but but I still feel. <laughs> So violated. Someone right. took Pia's ball. Link, Pia is afraid the thief might be still nearby. Would you please stay by her side today? It can be done. That was way too easy to do, Pia's voice. Crying and sniffling like that. <laughs> That's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Master Link, thank you for staying by my side for the whole day. I see now that crying and feeling scared won't help us get the heirloom back. I checked with Dorian and Kato, but they said that they didn't see anyone other than the villagers around. Mm -hmm. I will try again to remember all I can about the night the heirloom was stolen, but the thief may be still hiding nearby. I have a bad feeling. If you spot any suspicious movements at night, don't approach. So this is Pia's quarters up in the bedroom chamber that is up and behind Impa's cushion. Yeah. And you can read yeah. Pia's diary, which we do not have time for. All these serious business. And then Pia's going to come back down here to hang out with Lady Impa. Okay. Do we just call all the women in town Lady This, Lady That? I guess. I, I, I don't know that any of the other people in town refer to anyone by Lady, but, yeah, but these Lady two. Impa and Lady Pia. Yeah. I didn't realize that Lady had that, or Pia had that, that title. title of Lady. Yeah. Maybe she would be deemed like the successor if Impa passes away. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so what we want to do is we need to figure out who has been stealing the orb and why they would do it. We need to be around to see if we pick up any other information, any other clues. Well, it's 
7? It's 8 o'clock already. Is that basically nighttime? I forget exactly the time. It's probably between like 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. Well, let's just do it since it's starting to rain and I don't want it to... It might skip the rain this way. So we're hoping to follow one of the men out of town and discover what they're up to, what he's up to, because he, pr he knows something that he hasn't told anyone. So one of the guards... Why don't you go say hi to the painter? He's not painting. I guess he doesn't paint, paint if it's raining. Rain? He put away his paintbrush canvas. There must have been a time when lots of people used that gate. The world sure is fickle, isn't it? What gate are you talking about? Okay. Maybe he's referring to that entrance over there. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so there's that, that woman over there who's acting strange. Yeah. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. What is she on about? I don't know, but I'm She's afraid if strange. I go over there. Yeah, see, if you follow her, she is a, a distraction and misleads you away from what you oh, actually... Oh, yeah, yeah. so like right now, she's seeming so suspicious that if you were to try to figure this out, you'd be like, you oh, it's got to be her. It's got to be her, but it's not her. Yeah. Dorian is the one that we actually are going to follow. Yeah, we want to follow Dorian, the one who's walking. Okay. Why don't you just go grab that shroom while we're waiting? Okay. He's a slow walker. He is. Dot, dot, dot. What does it mean? Very pregnant dots. Yeah, for real. Slow. Yeah, NPCs are very slow walkers. Slow runners. I love the atmosphere of Kakariko Village. It just stinks with atmosphere. Yeah, even in the rain, it's cool. I wonder what's going to become of the town in Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Characters are going to be a little bit older, a little wiser. I wonder how much time actually passes between the Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Like, I, if is yeah. it two years, or is it two months, or is it ten years or more? I'm going to guess three years, maybe four. Okay. I would doubt if the game even mentions how much time has passed. Oh, okay. I think we're just going to have to guess based on, By like... By how the, things uh, look how, like. Yeah, like how the children look a little bit older. If Riju looks like she's a little bit of an older woman, we could guess her age because we know that right now she's like 12 years old. Okay, yeah. In Breath of the Wild. Dorian is suspicious. Oh, his run is even Maybe up. he wants to talk to the great fairy. Watch it, watch out. You don't want to disturb him. I, I don't actually know what happens if you talk to Dorian before he gets to his destination, but you're not supposed to. It'll throw off the whole mission. Yeah, that's interesting. So he, he obviously has something on his mind. And he's coming up here because he's going to do something about it. But this is the only time he ever comes up here. It's because oh. the ball, the orb has been stolen. And he, he knows something about it. Somebody turned off the rain. That's so nice. Grab the sunset firefly. Grab the other one. No, you failed. Well, he you stopped start and over. so I was... Yeah. You did the right thing. Don't blow it for some sunset firefly. Yeah, I know. I was like, I don't want to run up there. So we haven't actually been up here. I wonder if this platform only appeared for this mission or if it's just been here the whole time. I kind of think it's been here. Show yourself. I know you're there. Show yourself. <laughs> you don't have to shout. I'm right here. So you're the one who stole the heirloom. <laughs> Such anger. It seems this thing is truly special to the fools of this village. Why would you steal it? Don't play dumb, Dorian. You knew what you were getting yourself into when you decided to leave the organization. You forfeited your life the moment you left. You did well to tell us about the heirloom. Unfortunately, your usefulness has come to an end, as must you. But first... It appears we have an audience. Ooh, he's us. For my fallen master. Taking it so seriously, dude. Chill. Excellent. Now, give him the beatdown with Urbosa's Fury. Can I? Yeah. And I hold, I do the... Press and hold. The douche. Excellent. Dang. Oh, you couldn't get his wind cleaver. It disappeared. Bummer. I deserve that. <laughs> I can't believe I was being followed. I'm sure you figured it out. 
But all this is my fault. There's no point in trying to hide it. I am a member of the Yiga clan. Or I used to be, anyway. Whoa. But then I met the most incredible woman who blessed me with two amazing children. Aww. And so I tried to change my ways. Tried to leave the clan. Aww. But the Yiga, they took my wife's life as punishment. Oh, no. I couldn't let them hurt my children. So I used my position as gatekeeper to gather information for the Yiga. I told them about you and about the village in exchange for safety. But my grief over losing my wife consumed me, and I finally decided to cut ties with the Yiga clan completely. I decided I could protect my children from the Yiga. I wasn't afraid of them, but the Yiga are pure evil. They told me they would kill both Impa and Paya if I didn't play along. Paya figured out that this heirloom is the key to opening an ancient shrine. We weren't able to make it work, but Paya thinks that maybe you can. Paya and all of us are devoted to helping you in your quest. Now please restore this heirloom to its pedestal. Do it. I mean, I wonder what would happen if someone like Dorian put the orb yeah. in there. Yeah. I guess it, it oh, would just not trigger a th look. Oh, it is there. Huh. Do, do we have room in our inventory? Excellent. Nice. That's a cool one, too. Oh, there's a tree branch, too. I mean, there's two tree branches. Drop the wind cleaving. No, I'm kidding. Duh. <laughs> I love tree branches. We're going to be able to fuse them to wind cleavers in Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe we can put the orb on the end of them. We could put the orb onto the end of the wind cleaver and attach the wind cleaver to the tree branch. Yeah. That would look and then maybe Pekango will give us his paintbrush <laughs> and attach that to the tree branch. And this sounds like the beginning of a song. It does. For children, you know, like, yes. put the right. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm glad I picked up that wind cleaver. That might have destroyed it. The shrine! So the heirloom was the key to opening the shrine. Incredible! Master Link, I... I'm Aww. very sorry for all of this. I know it's a selfish request, but do you think you could keep what really happened a secret? I truly don't deserve mercy, but I don't want my children, Coco and Katla, to suffer anymore. I know it doesn't make up for what I've done, but I pledge to protect the village and my family from now on. Aww. No matter the cost. Yeah? Link doesn't really say much anyways, so I think you're safe. A stolen heirloom? Complete. Now you go in there and you have to fight the toughest dungeon in the game. I better not. I saved it just for you. Is it? Is it? Do I? Is it? Do I? The owls are very loud there. Yep, this is the hardest blushing shrine there is. Yay! No, that's not actually true. I'm, I'm guessing even Tide Island was the hardest. Yeah. At least more, most time consuming. Edge of duality. Attack up 15. Pretty good. You want to look at our weapons and see if we want to make a trade? Oh, good idea. Isn't it funny how those royal spears always stand up on their edge? Yeah. They should lay flat. <laughs> They're really intricate. Let's do the thing. So, we didn't mention it before, but in order to get to the shrine to do this particular quest, we actually had to complete all the side quests in all of Kakariko Village just to be able to get the Yiga clan to steal the orb oh, so that we yeah. can then get to the shrine. Paya looks so disappointed. Oh, Master Link. Because I wasn't there. The heirloom. Our precious Shika heirloom. Well, actually... I swallowed it. What? Oh, so that means the heirloom has finally fulfilled its purpose. Yeah, it was very nutritious. <laughs> Thank goodness. It doesn't matter how it happened, as long as the object we have guarded preciously for generations, as long as I was able to help you out in some way, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> <laughs> I pray that the protection of the gods of old follows you wherever you go. Cool, cool, cool. Now, she can sit up there on that other pillow. Yeah, it's hers. What if you want to say hi to Impa? Maybe she has something to say. <laughs> How strange to think a hundred years ago you wore that champion's tunic every day. I feel as though I've been transported in time. Huh. Link, our princess, you must rescue her. I don't think I've ever seen her say that before. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so we want to get another memory. This okay. is the 11th memory in the order of the list called Shelter from the Storm. And it's west of Dea Village Ruins and north of Lake Hylia. 
So you see where there's like a, a body of water to the northeast of Lake Hylia? Like right here? No, no, no. South Lake Hylia. Yeah. Okay, so northeast of there. That water there? Yeah. Yeah, so it's in that territory. So zoom in. So Dea Lake is actually in the ruins of what used to be Dea Village. And apparently oh. during the Calamity, the Guardians actually wiped out a whole village. It would have been just a horrible atrocity. And then the whole territory became this lake where their village used to be. Wow. So zoom in a bit further and go southward. Oh, actually, somewhere in here. I I'm not positive. You so you see how there's a cluster of three trees to the northeast? Three, there's like three shrubs. Oh, up here. Yeah. Yes. So I'm assuming that that's like a Korok seed or something. Yeah. But somewhere on the perimeter of Dea Village is going to be the memory. Oh, and I think okay. it's going to be like by a tree on the outskirts, not in the lake. Okay. It'll be somewhere in the vicinity. Uh, you so might... should I drop a marker like right here maybe? No. A zoom out a smidge. So you see the land be below? Yeah. Right here? I'm thinking that the memory's in this territory. Okay. Maybe I'll put... So... So should we go from the... From here? Probably here? the uh, the most natural way to get down, down there, if you wanted to paraglide, would be to paraglide down from one of the dueling peaks. The South Dueling Peak. Oh, I see. Yeah, she that near shrine. Okay, you are under oh! attack. And I don't care. <laughs> yeah, so that's the lake right in front of Lake that was Dea Village. Oh, it's, it's an so interesting cool area to angle. explore. There's the random guardian or two in different places around here, but mostly just ruins and hills. Okay. It's a great big stump or like hollowed out tree. Oh, interesting. Not often I see like the hollowed out trees like this. Fallen over, yeah. There's a well, two wells. Oh, so this is where the people lived. Yeah, this would have been like some of the outskirts of the village. And then the water is the middle of town. The memories, oh, I think the memories at this tree. Yeah, that's bringing back memories. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally. Wow. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Get out of here. Oh, cool. I don't remember if we can see Dea Village in the memory. Oh. So there's a view of the bridge of Lake Hylia. Yeah. Zelda took the picture facing that direction. Okay, yeah, I see. Away from Dea Village. <laughs> oh, it's too bad. It would have been interesting to see what it looked like. I doubt this will let up anytime soon. Training even if it's raining. Yeah. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. Your commitment to the training necessary to fulfill your goal is really quite admirable. I see now why you would be the chosen one. What if, one day, you realized that you just weren't meant to be a fighter? What? Yet the only thing people ever said was that you were born into a family of the royal guard, and so no matter what you thought, you had to become a knight. If that was the only thing you were ever told. Oh. I wonder then, would you have chosen a different path? Oh, she's likening herself to in, like, to his situation. Yeah. Wasn't easy for Princess Zelda. Oh, poor thing. All right. All so right. So you want to do the Memories next... out of the way? Yeah. Okay. Next shrine. All right. One of my other favorites. Let's see here. It's in this area over here. It's with the Gorons. And the Gorons have a special challenge for Link to this area. Yeah. So, I, I couldn't remember where it was, though. But. Wish there was, like, a place to teleport here. I know. But this will do. Yeah, that should work. If I So if I teleport here, it'll pop me in, like, here-ish, which then I would have to get around. So anyway, yeah. Yeah. The tower is the way to go. 
Oh, okay, okay. Uh, we'll be there in a jiffy. In a snap crackle pop. Oh, this is a great view. Crazy. Some canyons, some of the grasslands. Mountains. Oh, I just remembered something I forgot. What? I need a cooking pot. Oh. Because of what we're going to do over here. Oh. I wonder if there's a cooking pot there. What do you think? There might be. I hope there's one. Not, we can always. We can, find yeah, some. if there's not, we can just place the travel medallion here. Oh, yeah. Get a cooking pot and then come back. Hey, brothers. <laughs> not yet, not yet. I'll do my best. Hey, boys. All right, so. Have y'all seen a cooking pot? Maybe Tears of the Kingdom will have, like, a camp stove we can carry with us. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. That is a good idea. Another butterfly. Okay. Ooh, no, uh, we're not finding a cooking pot. Oh, well. Please. Well, okay, so, new plan. Travel medallion. With that here, we can now go anywhere we so desire. So what you want okay. to get is the fire uh, resistance elixir. So isn't it a fireproof lizard? Yes. And just for good measure, I'd recommend you like cook it up with three moblin fangs to make three the elixir. Three moblin fangs. Where are they? Top right. I'm blind. Two, three. Yeah. It'll be plenty. Yeah. Oh, nice. Eight minutes long. All right. It's back to long. the travel medallion. There's no bunny standing there. Taking their their sport very seriously. So should I eat that right now? No. I think you can use the fire resistance suit on the first fire, on the first stone, and then you would want to consume it for the second. But will I have time to do that? Uh I think you can pause in the middle of the trial. Okay. Just, yeah, just do whatever you want. Well, since it is eight minutes, why don't I just eat it? It won't take us eight minutes to get through it, right? Right. You'll still have to take off the armor between the two stones. Okay. Okay, you. Beige. Pump it up, brother. Look <laughs> at them shaking. <laughs> oh, it's the fourth core on blood, brother. The one who somehow be our famous gut check challenge. This is our ancestral training ground, little man. We're smack in the middle of a contest of endurance. Feel the burn, brother! <laughs> we're training to become even manlier Goron men, brother. Right now, we're competing to see who can beat the heat. Okay. So sweaty, brother. <laughs> of course, since you beat the gut check challenge, you'll want to try this too. Okay. We're Gorons, but we can't really stand this extreme heat either. That's why we came here to train. After this, we'll be able to handle the extreme heat in the Goron City, no problem. Hey, I have an idea. Come join us. Yeah, come try the contest of endurance yourself, brother. Sure, I'll give it a try, boys. <laughs> Good answer. A guy like you has a burning passion in his <laughs> belly. It's inspiring, brother. The other one is, that last one was kind of chill. When you're ready, step onto this platform, then the contest of endurance will commence. Do it. The test of will. If you leave the ring or pass out, it's all over. You lose. Got it? Okay, now prepare yourself for the contest of endurance. Go! And we just tolerate. Oh, is it actually not uh, working right? Yeah, this isn't working. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Uh, I the challenge has commenced. I was mistaken. I thought it was going to be fire resistance we need, but we actually needed heat resistance. Oh. So, this is. I, I, bet, I bet we'll still win. We have a lot of hearts. Well, we have a lot of hearts, but we also have some food dishes with extra hearts to them. We could use those if we need to. Yeah. Oh. Whew. See, we won. Well, this is not over. We have to go to the next <gasps> stone. You're amazing. I never would have thought the three Goron Blood Brothers could lose to you, brother. In fact, I'm granting you the highest honor. The challenge to participate in the contest of ultimate endurance. This guy is really passionate about 
heat. <laughs> it's where our ancestors trained. It's considered the toughest test known to Goron kind. Okay. You see the ring behind me? The one surrounded in fire? Do you feel it in your gut? <laughs> what a bad idea it is to go there? <laughs> your gut is dead on, brother. <laughs> that special training area is even harder than the last ring. This contest won't just challenge you with heat, but also with fire. Oh, okay. So this is the fire one. Yeah. If you lose your focus, your body will catch fire. Make sure you're prepared for this, brother. It's said that passing this test will reveal a shrine or some such. If you think you're ready, climb into the ring. Do that, and our special contest of ultimate endurance will begin. Okay. Okay. Calm down, beige. <laughs> oh! Is that heat resistance gear you have there, brother? A real Goron man shouldn't have to rely on wussy stuff like that. <laughs> Go on up and take the challenge without any help. Oh dear. Wow. So that means we have to take off our clothes? Yes, you have to take it all off. <sighs> You're standing up there, which can only mean one thing. You're ready to push yourself to your limits, brother. Okay, look at this guy on the right. He looks more pleasant. <laughs> the other one looks grumpy, and he's just, like, always more pleasant. It's yeah. so funny. The rules for this contest of ultimate endurance are the same as ever. Leave the ring or faint, and it's over. Okay, time for the world famous contest of ultimate endurance. Go! <laughs> I mean, while you were talking, I, I was know. already roasting like a pig. A very lean pig. More hate, brother. No fear. We're fine. What's your problem? My soul is on fire. <laughs> well, none of you are up here with me. Fire, brother. <laughs> Seize the heat, brother! <laughs> They're so funny! Burning soul! Hot like lava, brother! <laughs> A real trial by fire, Our brother! Glory is ready. You know, it's funny, not once have any of them said Goro. I know, right? <laughs> So epic, brother! What a powerful display! What fire! That was something else, brother! Way too many times they said brother. <laughs> Throw in some Gornos! I know! My voice is getting espy. <laughs> oh, there's a pilot. And while the boys had their backs turned... Ta-da! Yeah. Oh! That's a shrine! Or some such. It really appeared just like that. Look at all their underwear, different colors. Uh, stop. Look at their <laughs> underwear. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. So the legend is true, brother. You won the contest of ultimate endurance, little man. You're amazing. <laughs> Look at they're all smiling. <laughs> okay, cool. What happens if you just, like, get some meat and throw it down while it cook? Let's try. Nice. It does! Should, right? Yeah. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Does it actually, like, chain? There you go. Oh Seared my steak. goodness. Now, what if we threw down, like, and made a dish? We'll see. Oh, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. It'd be really sweet if it would cook them as a dish, but... You can get all the roasted foods you want. <laughs> Julu or Joe Lu Na Shrine. Yeah, you wanna get some clothes on? Oh yeah. I wonder if this is a blessing shrine or not. Oh, it's not a blessing shrine. Who? Ju Lu, Joe Lu, da oh, my apparatus. My favorite. An apparatus. Yay. My favorite. I'm so glad that you could do this. If this doesn't look very hard, you just gotta no. get them all zapped. I did. <laughs> that was not bad at all. You know, these shrines got old. 
in the last six, seven years while we've been playing Breath of the Wild, but I'm going to kind of miss them when Tears of the Kingdom comes. There actually are interesting. I mean, oh, I thought oh, I was done. Oh, this one. Do you want to? Do you want to take us? I don't remember yeah, a it's thing a bit about of a pain. this one. So, here so this can stay here, I guess, because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get the wind fan machine in the middle to rotate so that it spins all of these oh, propellers. I see. Oh, but we okay. also want to put something up there so that that fan is also raised. Uh, dee -dee -dee -dee. So it's kind of guesswork to tell exactly where and how to tilt <laughs> this. That would be hard. So we have, have to, to look at where the wind goes and see... Oh, that might work. Uh, no. No, it's a little bit too far to the left. Yeah, but see, every time we reactivate it, it resets. Oh, so no! It's very difficult to find where you're going. So. Ooh, that looks better. Yeah, yeah. better. Try it. See, I, I can't. Up, up, oh, up. oh good. you made it. Yeah, see, I've tried that many times where I couldn't get up there whatsoever. Weird. Oh, me. Well, we don't even need it, really, do we? So, if I had to ditch a weapon, I guess it would be the wind cleaver. We'll keep it there. See if I can get back up there. Yeah, worked. And they get this one. Oh, put that one up put there. And put this one up there where we need it. Good idea. And you go here. There we go. Okay, so now you should be able to do the rest. Okay. So... You just want to get all four. Ta-da! That's a very peculiar sheath on the wind cleaver. Yeah. It's got like a... It looks like an oar. It's like tattered down at the bottom of it. Almost like it's got, it's made of wood and it's oh gnarled up. Oh dear. Ooh boy. You just want to use some um, fire arrows? Yes. because But you're going to have to rotate it a little bit to get it, some of those torches out of their water. Yeah. Okay. You see how two of yes. them are right now on the water path? <laughs> no, wait a minute. I'm curious. There's like a... Um, a thing to stand on. What does that do? Does that just like drop a new oh. fire thingy? Oh. Oh. So if you could set something on it, then it would stay out of the way. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> you're, helpful. You're like, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Good to I'm know. all for efficiency. <laughs> I'm all for efficiency. And yeah, if I didn't have fire arrows, that would be nice. See? That wasn't so bad after all. <laughs> no, not at all. Okay, well, where are we going to go next? Here, well, you, I'll give you it back give me the control. You. Yeah, give all right, it back so to I'll you. do the last shrine of the day. And it is... The... Thundra Plateau. Yes, that's right. Finally. This is where we're going, right? Yep. So this is where there is a constant thunderstorm. And I'm not great at it, and I have ideas. Okay. Okay, turn around. What we want to do is, when we get closer, it's going to be more evident just how stormy the weather is. And we have four orbs that we want to put into bases at the bottom of like that thing columns like these there's four of them the other four are not loaded yet yeah, i was is, gonna say there are there they are there it's all zoni related who knows exactly what it originally served but there's going to be yep so, so there's, see, there's one, one, of one of the balls and we want to get one i think this one first so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a way to get around to this cliffside and paraglide down to this tree and then glide down to the top of there 
to get that orb. Yeah, the challenging part of this is that it's raining the entire time there, so trying to climb any of these structures is impossible. Yeah. To climb them um, to get the orbs off of the top. Okay. So. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh dear! Oh, Should you do Lord. it? Just do it. Okay. Yes, I'm going for it. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, fell right in front of us. <laughs> I know. What it's are like... the chances? Hello. <laughs> Ta -da! Sweet. Good thing we dropped that travel medallion. We'll leave Pretty Pie there to enjoy the, the grass fresh play. grass to our heart's content with the other wild horses. Weren't we just here? Yup. Oh, I got a strawberry fragment, y'all. <laughs> I didn't really notice it before, but look, he has sweat, like, splashing off his yeah. face when he runs fast. Oh, there's a horse. Not a bad looking horse. If we were looking for another horse, yeah. that wouldn't be a bad it's one. It's just kind of random to have it right there. So I am almost finished with my very first playthrough, but I've done basically everything except for <laughs> fight Ganon. So I, and we have like three weeks before Tears of the Kingdom comes out or something like that. So if y'all think I should kill Ganon before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, let me know in the comments and then I will do it. I mean, I know what I think you should do. I know, but I need other moral support. <laughs> All the moral support you can get. Yes. So if y'all think I should do that, let me know because, and I will. I'll let you know if I did because it's weird because like I tried, like I did the first, no, I don't even think I did the first level of the Trial of the Sword. I know I can do it, it's just time consuming, but Ganon seems like a whole big deal to me. <laughs> it sounds terrifying, but... I will be brave if y'all give me encouragement. We all need to be encouraged. Ganon is not as hard as he seems. If you can, I if you know. can finish off all the other lights, you can take on this yeah, one. Yeah, I know. It's just like I think it's just built up to be bigger in my mind than it yeah. actually is, because it's like the ultimate boss, you know. And so it's like, ugh. it's like I can't, I can't. But I really probably can. Okay, I don't need to really land on the no, tree. No, you don't. Unfortunately, I don't really have great weapons to hit the orb. I'm going to probably break my nice Sheikah swords. Oh, yeah, because of... You who have reached the land of thunder, I present you with a trial. When the four spirits have been settled in their proper places, they will guide you to the hero's trial. What were you going to say before that Sheikah guy rudely oh. interrupted? Oh, no! She no. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say it's not only raining here, but it's also lightning. So our weapons it's dangerous. Use our weapons right now. Yeah. We have to be careful we're not using electrical weapons. This is a trick to get this up in that plateau. There are other ways of getting it up there. But Woo! this is definitely the easiest. Yeah. So we had to get up here. And because it's raining everywhere, we couldn't easily just climb up on top of this dragon's head. Yeah. So there's a well, place where we could camp. But we don't want to camp. That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, Where's the other one? I don't know. Maybe we should camp. <laughs> is it over here? Yeah, there it is. Straight ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is another dragon's head to get on top of. There's actually weapon uh, supplies up there. Huh. Yeah. But there's mostly just style moblin or style creatures, monsters around yeah. here. Yeah, and keys. Yeah, good old keys. Here, Keesy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you got him. <laughs> they're like, he is nuts. Oh, dear. We're getting out of here. The boss didn't say that he'd hurt himself. <laughs> Eek. 
So this one's a little tricky because we've got to get up there in the rain, no matter what. So we could just run and make a jump for it. Oh, oh so close, so close, so close, oh, so close. Oh, yes. Boom. Now, the same thing. Yes. Get the orb. Don't drop oh, it. Yeah. Put her here. Hope it doesn't fall off. Wall a bit over. Oh, good thing I have one back up. And now I think that puts all, all the orbs up there we gotta have. There's one more to retrieve. The green yeah. one. Straight oh. ahead. We just learned a new interesting way of doing that. Yeah, so we can't take the credit for this. We yeah. gathered this idea from another player. Yeah. So there is a sword here. It should give it away, but it can be used for a trick. But how many players ever figure this out? I don't know. Oh, quick, get it up there. I can't really get it up there. <laughs> See? Not high enough. See? So, get up here oh, first. Oh, I see. Yeah. I had, yeah. I had to take a step. So, we need this to be struck by lightning, Good and track. then it'll work. Now we wait. Here it comes. Oh, the drama. And suspense. And it worked! <laughs> nice! But that one, it, that pedal. Oh, so the pedestals show like yeah, the they color. have a color to them, a little symbol. Yeah, it's so kind of weathered. The green one. Green, red, purple. Uh, Yellow, orangeish. Yeah, orange. Sure. They can't. Whoever codified. Let's pick it up. Oh, I'm thinking like it was magnetic. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It's so crazy, because if you did that in real life, it would roll in. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of like, just why don't you do it? Yep. Oh. Well, that's smart. Yeah, I have my moments. <laughs> yep. Say what you want about thunderstorms in Breath of the Wild. They are a pain, but they can also be pretty fun. I'm thinking this one to the right isn't in. Oh. It looks like it's up higher, yeah. Get in. I'm in. <laughs> Maybe if I get in, it'll get the idea. Oh dear. Show it what to do. There we go. Activate. And that is how you get to the last of all 120 of the standard shrines. Did you really do all of them? Yeah. <gasps> wow. So we're this, caught this up to the final. This is the last one. The final, final, final. Nice. Trial of Thunder complete. You'd think that that would be a blessing shrine. Yeah. Because of all the hard work, but nope. <laughs> so we get over here. There is a thingy right there. <laughs> I threw that funny. <laughs> Rubber armor, the last of the set. So it crazy. will protect us from electricity. We're gonna need you. Get up here. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, sort of. Kinda. Actually, it busts we, the we need So, crash. <laughs> that's fun. Oh, that is so crazy satisfying. That that's, is that's fun. Satis that's almost as satisfying as sandblasting rusty furniture. Yes. And we know this because we've watched a lot of YouTube videos of yes. people blasting rusty furniture. If y'all want something super satisfying to watch look up sandblasting odds and ends antiques yes. like metal metal particularly good job boy you 
use that box to, to push, push it. Off. <laughs> As we destroy the shrine. <laughs> it's a good thing the walls and the other stuff. Indestructible don't break. column, I just can't get this. There. Okay. Okay, not too bad. That's actually a chest you don't see very often. It's like made of wood. Yeah. We don't usually see those around here. Oh, good job. Get the button, which we can't even see. How Magnesis works through the wall, I do not know. Okay, we did it. And the final oh, shrine. The final orb. Spirit orb time. Yes! We can get our last You heart. have at last conquered all of our trials. Having fulfilled our purpose, we monks bestow upon you this, the warrant of the true hero. You must now depart for the Forgotten Temple. Oh. A gift from the monks. Interesting. May the goddess smile upon you. So, what he's saying is we want to go over here to the Forgotten Temple, which was one of the first things we did. Yeah. And then you travel to the back. And there's we a could, secret. Yeah, so do we want to go into the front and, like, fight the guardians all over again? Or just cut to the back? Let's just cut to the back. Okay. Yeah, we did this in one of the first episodes off of the Great Plateau. We snuck past all the guardians, didn't cook too much, and this is the largest of the Hylia statues. It's really impressive. That now, how the monks brought these treasure chests out, <laughs> I do not know. We will never know. But they brought them out because we finished all of the shrines. And this is our reward. We get to wear these dorky clothes. <laughs> Cap of the Wild Dorky Clothes. Yes. Cap of the Dorky. According to legend, this cap was crafted for a hero who travels the wildlands. That's you, boy. Wearing it just feels so right. <laughs> and... You know, we haven't worn a cap on purpose. It's gonna go with a tunic of the wild. This armor was apparently crafted for a hero who travels the wilds. Strangely enough, it's just your size. Imagine that. The monks have been taking our measurements. Trousers of the wild. Embarrassing trousers of the wild. Legend says these pants were tailored for a hero who travels the wilderness. Strangely enough, they're the most comfortable pair of pants you've ever worn. It's because they're shorts. Okay, we have to get them dressed. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's so funny. If you're not embarrassed, I'm embarrassed for you. That is so funny. And get those those knees. It's those knees. Yeah. Is this is obviously? I mean, I'm assuming a replica of an outfit from a previous game. So it's inspired by the original outfit of the very first Zelda game, oh. but it, this is actually not the one that is for representing the original game. This is the one representing Breath of the Wild. So... Oh, seriously? Yeah, so hypothetically, this is it. This is like, Link, this is as good as it gets after all the things you've been through here. Okay. <laughs> Too bad we didn't have that during the episode of one of our lost levels where we dressed up funny and for different. We went to different shrines and we dressed each other up ahead of time and you had to wear... Remember that? Yeah. Too bad we didn't have the shorts. That would have been really funny with some of those outfits. Yep. Silly monks. Why they think that this is what we really want? <laughs> I don't know. But this is what they had to offer. Well, everyone, that wraps up everything for part 41 of our Breath of the Wild walkthrough. Thank you so much for joining us today and come back every Friday for new episodes. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to our channel. God bless and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.